Hey guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry, working today on my long necklaces and we'll share how I create these beautiful links that you can incorporate in your work. It could be beautiful earring as it is with just a little bit there, but I like to space it up my jewelry with the little links always. In this necklace, I will use three of them and you can decide what place you want to put them. So I have one here, I have one here, and on this side, and the rest will be a chain. It will be my long necklace without any clasp or anything. So if you would like to see how I make that, stay with me and pick up your wire and we can start wire wrapping together. So here I, I will show you only half of it, how it's half done. Sorry for the lighting, I'm uh, filming today late and it's artificial light and never good as a natural, right? So here is the link how it's done. So we will spiral this piece, use hammer, hammer it. There is no heat involved and you can just uh, bend these long legs like this and wrap it. I use electrical wire 18 gauge. Again, uh, based on a lot of uh, emails and comments sometimes why my wires look different maybe because it's a it's an electrical wire so this is 18 gauge it says but you can pick up your thickness it's it's pretty good for this length i don't think 16 gauge maybe it will be too thick and rough for your hands but try it so i use six inches of of that wire and we will take our regular pliers. So I will mark roughly three inches, or you can do with the, you can measure. So it's a three inches right here. And you'll make our bend. So it's just bending, right? We bend and I squeeze it like this. I hold a little end here and I will start to curve one wire. And I wanna curve it so nice so it can go all the way. If it has to be squeezed like this, squeeze it because you want to you want to make it completely swirl. So here is we we go back now we have like two wires going this way, and we will use first one and go around. You have this. It depends how big you want this link to be. You just decide. I think that's enough for me. So I will decide this goes this way. And parallel to my work, I will do this. So just so it will look nice. Just don't rush, make it, this looks more perfect you can you can you can create very beautiful curve inside then all we have to do is hammer so we hammer now it will work harder than your component so it can be stiff and you decide how long your links will be. So I wanted them to be kind of not really long. So mine are this. So I wonder, I wonder how long it is. I will check. So this, the curve from here to here is a little bit more than half inch it's pretty small short you know 
and I squeeze the, the top, hold with my pliers, and I will just curve it around this wire. And then if you feel it, you want to cut, because I like this cutting be, be in the half between somewhere inside there, so it will not scratch any clothing. So I will cut it right here and um, push that inside, 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 inside in the thing. Yeah. And then you do the same way here. So you can measure. You can also, if you like, asymmetrical you could make this leg this side shorter this longer this all depends you can use some beads if you want to be creative i never measure anything so i just will just roughly i like that my work is not symmetrical not a, nothing is perfect around us and we don't want really symmetric pieces in a jewelry too that's my view. So I will cut a little piece and just go inside there. And uh, if you need to be, you can unlock this little bit, push it your wire there, put it back, and you can hammer it again if it's need to. That's it. And you have beautiful link. So you can use this link for for your necklaces. Oh my, my pop is getting crazy today. So guys, I know it's a very short tutorial and, uh, but it could be very useful for, for the spacers if you need to. Maybe could be a piece for your bracelet. I think it will be cool too. Earrings, bracelets, long necklaces, short necklaces. I think that's all can be used in those, right? Thank you guys for watching. I think I still need to recover from my travels and maybe next week I can create something more, more excited than this time, right? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, love all your comments um, and I will see you next Tuesday with exciting new video. Thank you for watching and see you next Tuesday again. Bye-bye.